Hello, beautiful people. I am here today to teach you about birch essential oil. This is doTERRA's, one of doTERRA's newest oils that they've got out, and I want to tell you about it. The thing about birch is it's a tricky oil to produce. Most companies sell either a synthetic version of it or wintergreen packaged as birch because it's really difficult to find a place that's going to be able to have pure birch essential oil for you. It took seven years of dedicated work for doTERRA to actually crack the code of how to distill birch well. In April of 2023, doTERRA successfully opened Woodside Oils in Kane, Pennsylvania. Woodside is the world's first commercial distillery for birch essential oil. All right, this is a picture from our recent convention. That's why all the lines and everything, this was a picture taken from the big screen. But this is all of the essential oils, the birch essential oils that were tested to see how much birch actually was in them. Do you know what the answer was? None of them had any birch oil in them. All of these and more. They had no birch. Some of them had wintergreen. Some of them actually had expired aspirin that was all ground up that they added a little bit of liquid to and they shook it all up and they said this is now birch essential oil which is interesting because aspirin actually comes from the birch tree so they kind of made it go backwards but aspirin is not essential oil so none of these are anything that you should ever purchase they're not pure there is no pure birch oil out there on the market except doTERRA's birch doTERRA is the only company in the world sourcing pure birch essential oil for commercial use. Methyl salicylate is the main constituent of birch, and it's commonly used to provide relief to muscle or joint discomfort. Birch is considered a sensitive oil, so you're always going to want to dilute it, especially if you know that you have sensitive skin. Now, let's say that you didn't dilute it. You're like me, and you're, you think you can do just fine. I usually do just fine with birch on my skin. It's not a problem for me, but I don't have particularly sensitive skin. But let's say I ended up feeling like this was a little too much for my skin. Do you know what you should do to be able to get the essential oil off and to take away the discomfort from too much essential oil? You use a carrier oil or any kind of a fatty substance. I have a friend who got peppermint in her eye while she was out with her husband at a fancy restaurant. There was no oil lying around, so what'd she do? She got the pad of butter that they served with the dinner rolls, and she actually put a little bit on the fancy napkin and put it on her eye, and it was able to draw the essential oil out. Essential oils are lipophilic. What that means is they love fatty stuff. They're drawn to it. So when you have an essential oil that's on your skin or maybe got in your eye or got somewhere else sensitive and you don't want it there, you take something like a tissue or a paper towel or something, put any kind of a fatty substance on that, whether it's cooking oil or fractionated coconut oil, olive oil, anything that's a fatty substance, and then you take and rub that over the skin, over your eye, wherever the issue is, and it will actually literally draw the essential oil back out. So soap and water is not the trick. Oil is. All right. Birch is considered a sensitive oil, but its cooling and comforting, comforting effect makes it perfect for massages or for applying to muscles and joints. It can manage odors and also refresh the air. Before we dive into what makes birch so amazing, though, let's talk about what makes doTERRA different. Because why would you go with doTERRA when you can get something cheaper somewhere else? Because you can get a cheaper bottle of birch somewhere else. doTERRA is all about purity, pure products, pure intentions, pure business practices, pure love of humanity. It's important to discuss essential oil purity because an essential oil's purity is its most important characteristic. Purity affects the safety, the effectiveness, and the potency of an essential oil. Unfortunately, the essential oil industry is littered with adulteration and contamination, and there's very, very little regulation on the market at all. <clears throat> Pure essential oils are costly to produce if you're doing it right, and unscrupulous suppliers and brokers lower the cost of their products by adding other substances to dilute them and all, and that adulterates the final product. 
A company might not even know if their essential oil is adulterated. They buy from a broker that they trust and they just assume that everything's fine because they trust the broker and he's been good to me in the past, right? And they advertise their products as pure. But the truth is that's not the case. That's why when you go back to that picture, where did it go? That one right there. Many of these companies probably think that they're selling the pure thing. Or maybe they know they're not and they don't care. I'm not going to judge their motives, but I am saying that a lot of times people will stick with the person that they know. And that person might have been unscrupulous. Every batch of doTERRA essential oil undergoes rigorous third party and internal testing to ensure that the products are free from adulteration, free from pesticides, free from any contaminants whatsoever. From the source to you, doTERRA essential oils are certified pure, which means that you can have perfect peace of mind when you choose to bring them into your home and into your routines. <clears throat> doTERRA is committed to sourcing the best and helping the most, called co-impact sourcing, right there in the middle on the bottom of your screen. Co-impact sourcing is where doTERRA actually takes sustainable ethical and responsible practices to get the oils from individuals and communities worldwide. They take care of people. They take care of the environment. They cut out the middlemen and they work directly with farmers and harvesters. They pay fair on-time wages. They develop long-term partnerships. And this approach means that they can monitor an essential oil's purity right from the start at the source. And then there's the network marketing business model. I'm just going to deal with the elephant in the room. A lot of people don't like MLMs and I get it. Personally, my husband and I were burned by an MLM about 20 years ago. And I said, I would never, ever get involved with another one. And here I am. What's that about? Because doTERRA is different. It really is a different company when it comes to MLMs. As a wellness advocate myself, I help to provide a report robust customer service experience for you that's also warm and welcoming. I am a real person. I can really talk to you about real things. I'm not some, you know, I don't know, out to sell you stuff. I promise I am not out to sell you stuff. If you don't want to buy anything and you just want to learn from me and then go on and buy something from another company, that's your business. I'm fine. I'll still teach you. It's all good, right? But I'm your first point of contact when you're learning how to use your products or you need help. So I am a built-in partner and a personal guide on your wellness journey, and I would love to be that for you. All right, doTERRA sources birch essential oil from the Allegheny National Forest, working exclusively with Forest Stu Stewardship Council, FSC, certified harvesters. This approach keeps birch forests healthy and vibrant. Shortly after the inauguration of Woodside Oils, doTERRA was recognized for sustainable birch sourcing efforts with a 2023 SEAL Environmental Initiative Award. Introducing perch, pure birch essential oil to the market would not have been possible without the expertise and equipment of our Terra Rosa distillery team in Bulgaria and without the knowledge from small-scale family-owned birch distillery in Pennsylvania, without our incredible sourcing team and the doTERRA's commitment to doing things the right way, even if it's not the easy way. It took seven years in the making just to get birch. These are some um, pictures of the different birch trees. I want you to think about, and the process, the distillery and everything else, I want you to think about some of the characteristics of a birch tree. Birch trees are bendy. That's my word. I like it. They're also, they're very supple. Think about that when you want to support your own joints and your bones. Just saying. There are some great ways to use birch. You can massage it in. You can blend it. You can diffuse it. It's very calming and cooling and comforting oil. And here are 10 more great ways to use birch. If you want to stop the video and take a screenshot or write them down, feel free to do that. And the last thing I'm going to show you is the birch roller blend. That is something that I came up with and I've actually got a separate video that talks about how to make this and I actually put it together on the video with you, showing you all the tricks and the simply, simplicity of it all. So. That is what I've got on Birch. If you have questions, please reach out. I will put some information for you in the comments down below. I'll also put a bunch of things in a um, 
cart for you in case you're interested in purchasing this on your own. If you have questions, please feel free to reach out because I'm here to help and support. I love to teach. I love to make people feel better in the bodies that they've got. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May he make his face to shine upon you and may he grant you his peace. Bye.